So let's talk about... Uh, and let's review the market. Of course, we've taken a look at how trade happened yesterday across the various segments of the markets that we track here on the program. But Erin Monsele Aziba, an investment analyst with Afri Invest, joins us now to put a little bit of a flesh to these numbers for us. Erin Monsele, it's great to have you on the program this Friday. Thank you for having me. So let's wrap up the week. Only four days of trade uh, because of the Easter holidays, of course. Yes. And uh, we've seen how the market has reacted. Is this uh, normal coming back from um, an Easter holiday or any holiday for that matter? Uh, well, like you mentioned, we have only four days of, uh, of trade uh, this week. Uh, but what we've seen is uh, we've sort of seen like a mixed performance in the market, given that on the first trading day of the week, we, we saw a, a decline in the, equ in the equities market. Uh, on, on the following day, we saw um, some improvement as investors were taking advantage of some uh, market bellwethers that, that had declined from, from previous week. But yesterday, we saw the downtrend continue as investors uh, started to take profit again. So what, what we've seen is that there hasn't really been any major trigger to sort of boost investor investor uh, sentiment in the market. But what we're looking at is now that more quarterly um, earnings are starting to trickle in, we believe this could potentially drive um, um, investor sentiment in, in, in the market. And then it looks as if the numbers coming in are a little bit impressive, talking about those quarterly numbers. So let's stay with the equity segment, uh, equities market, for a little bit. Uh, yesterday, Nigerian breweries turned in its uh, quarter's result as well. Uh, what's Afri Invest's thoughts on this? Oh, well, from the result that we've seen, well, it was quite um, positive, uh, recording growth in both um, top line and, and, and bottom line, and also um, sort of um, managing their, their cost, um, cost levels, which is also good. Generally, what we've seen is the company has been able to adapt to the general situation in the Nigerian economy. We've seen some um, price ad adjustments um, upwards owing to higher um, input costs and this trickled down to the um, overall prices at which these their products were, were sold. So we saw an improvement in, in revenue even though we also saw um, a growth in um, cost of goods sold, the pace at which it, uh, at which it increased um, what was offset by the increase that we saw in, um, in gross revenue and also looking at their finance cost they had about a 41 percent decline in in finance cost which was also good for for the company and this was one of the um, factors that boosted the PAT of, of Nigerian breweries in the for the period well, we'll be doing a pre-stock analysis much later on the program, and um, we'll be talking about that, how investors are actually reacting to the, that result this morning. But uh, coming into the fixed income segment of the market now, the Central Bank of Nigeria held Treasury Bills auction on Wednesday. Same amount uh, matured yesterday, so it's given and taken, literally. Yes. But we've seen that the market has had some kind of uh, liquidity, but in spite of that, investors have been kind of mixed, trading between Treasury Bills and the bonds. I remember that Robert, at the beginning of the week, actually said that was be you know that's expected but um, based on how the central bank has continued to you know play in the market did you think that yesterday for instance we should have seen a little bit of an improvement in treasury bills uh, trading for instance oh, well yesterday we, we saw some slight improvements in liquidity levels in the in in the market so they, we, we saw some slight um, improvements in activities um, compared to Tuesday and Wednesday where we had the debit for the special um, FX market intervention auction, um, debit for the bonds auction from the previous week uh, as well as an OMO auction which squeezed liquidity within within the system. Uh, this, this was one of the factors that drove the bearish performance that we saw um, on the first two trading days of the week. But yes, this performance was slightly better than than, than what we witnessed in the first two trading days um, of the week. Uh, next week, we expect to see some improvements because we're expecting a, a, a huge influx of liquidity into the market. You know, the, um, the April 2017 um, bonds is going to be maturing next week on, on the tw on 27th. So we expect this to boost liquidity levels within the system and then we could see some improved performance in the bonds market as what well. What new trends do you think will be starting? Because next week there's quite a lot of activities. For instance, starting on Monday, uh, the uh, Chartered Accountant will be holding an economic discourse on the economic recovery and growth plan. Uh, do you think that the markets and indeed the economy as a whole are quite comfortable with what's going on from the monetary and the fiscal side? Well, I, I, I th looking at the uh, market's performance, I think a major factor will be 
um, what we can see from companies performances for the companies listed on the exchanges and see if there's actually been any improvements in the macroeconomic space and how it has trickled down to the market so this would serve this would sort of give a signal as to whether we're actually seeing some improvements in the market and also the numbers coming out from the um, National Bureau of Statistics uh, GDP numbers inflation numbers also showing some s slight improvements in conditions within the market so this could overall change the sentiment to some slightly positive positive outlook on the on the Nigerian economy so for the rest of um, okay back to the equities market now most companies are that usually investors use to gauge you know how the economy is how the economy is varying are uh, mostly from uh, the banking sector and as of yet we haven't seen any bank turning in its first quarter results no we, we haven't so, we haven't seen any bank yet but we still expect performance to be largely positive mm -hmm. especially for the for the tier 1 banks which have co uh, continued to leverage on um, um, their on size. Um, also, the fact that we've recorded a lot of um, FX revaluation revaluation gains. So we expect this the, the the base impact to still boost their their results for for this year. If you remember, it, it, it was around June last year that we had the adjustment in the in the FX market. So for this Q1 um, 20. 17 results, we still expect to see uh, an improvement, especially in their non-interest income um, line. So the results that are coming from Nigerian breweries, is that supposed to like give us uh, a preview of what to expect from other companies listed on this index, where it is as a consumer goods index? Yes, uh, probably. We should, we should see this sort of positive performance um, spread around the sector. I mean, even looking at the full year 2016 results that came out, they were actually largely positive, save for Nigerian breweries and Nestle, which recorded declines in PAT. Uh, most of the other players within the sector actually recorded impressive performances and we expect this to be reflected in the Q1 um, numbers. We know most of them have adjusted prices upwards so this should boost revenue. Also in terms of the cost of, of goods sold, um, you know, with the improvements in the FX market, uh, we've also seen some improvement, um, some reduced pressures on their, on their input costs and this, this could boost their performance for, for the period. Everyone, Sela Aziba, Investment Analyst with Afri Invest. Thank you so much for coming on the program and Thank sharing you, your perspectives with us. Thank you. Our well, business morning continues after now. Stay with us.